Hi, KB here with the Color Grade Podcast. How are you guys? Very good. good thank you. you. Thanks. So, I mean, we only got to see the first three episodes, but it is a crazy wild ride. And I honestly cannot wait to see more of it. Like I cannot wait to see how this fleshes out. And your characters are so unique and done really well to Reggie's point. So when developing these kind of unique characters, what other sci-fi or mystical characters or even other genres did you kind of enjoy that really helped inspire these portrayals? And I'll start with you, Laura. Um. Oh gosh, like what other, as in like other characters that I, I thought inspired my, my role? Um, yeah, that you know, kind of that you enjoyed growing up that may have inspired your role. Uh, I would say that, that moving away from the sci-fi, I think um, absolutely fabulous was probably one of my most, <laughs> my, most uh, my biggest inspiration. Um, uh, that, that just their, their timing and, and the, the ability to be like larger than life, but still be rooted in, in kind of like truth. Um, I guess so, uh, Sybil's, uh, you know, she's, I mean, I make faces that I didn't even know I made, I, I, you know, I'm pulling, you know, silly, whatever face all the time. The kind of thing that like any training, any acting, be like, stop making that face. And, and so it was a, a way I felt like a, a clown sometimes, but it, it was always rooted in, in, in a sort of a wild uh, truth. And so I would say, you know, it's so it's sketch shows and things like that, they were probably my, my, my biggest inspiration, I would say. Nice. Um, I think for, for me, I'd, I'd probably look at, um, I looked at sort of, uh, well, the, what's the word? Uh, the opposite of a protagonist, antagonist. There we go. I looked at like different antagonists that um, throughout like my time watching film and TV that I, I thought were human. You know that they they weren't just uh, you know ruthless psychopaths, um, which you know which exist. Um, but I felt like I wanted something a bit more interesting for this character, and so uh, I looked at I guess quite recent, I suppose. But um, I looked at characters that I could empathize with. So like. Um, Michael B. Jordan's character in, in Black Panther, I felt like was really motivated by a sense of justice and a sense of trying to do right by him and his people. And I feel like that's exactly where it was with Castle. So trying to look at characters that, you know, through their motivations, even though what they did wasn't necessarily good, um, it was for the right reasons and their hearts were in the right place. I also looked at like Magneto, uh, just because of what Castle's costume was like. It was quite grand and, and bold. So I was like, I need, I need someone that wears a cape. And, um, and so, yeah, Magneto and um, just watching, obviously like Ian McKellen growing up, there's a certain stillness and an assuredness to, to the reasons for why he was, he was doing what he was doing. So um, yeah, those were probably two of mine. Well, thank you guys so much. I love those answers. Um, and I cannot wait to see, you know, kind of the path that your characters go along as we, we go on this journey. So thank you guys so much. Thank you.